Greetings, WordPressers, Jackson here. Today's show is about conditional menus. So if you need a different menu on a different page in your WordPress site, you're in the right place. Right then, conditional menus. You know like when you need to put a different menu on a different page in your WordPress site. Well, it's a piece of cake with a plugin called, strangely enough, Conditional Menus. It's a free plugin on the WordPress repository. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Really easy, really simple. Let's get down to it. So we've got a regular kind of navigation on this demo site that we've got here. You click on one menu item, it goes to that page and it's the same menu across the entire site. So what we want to do is install our new plugin. Plugins add new. And I'm going to go grab the name of the plugin off our little text doc here and do a keyword search with that. And there it is, conditional menus by Themify at the top there, install now. And activate that. And once it's activated, you'll get the uh, conditional menus splash screen that tells you how to use it. But you don't need to read that because I'm going to show you how. All the magic happens on your regular appearance and menus section of your WordPress website. And if you navigate to the Manage Locations tab, you will see a new option, conditional menus. And more about that once we create our new menu that we want for our portfolio page. So we're going to create a new menu by clicking the create a new menu button. Uh, we're going to call this portfolio menu and create menu button. And we're just going to add the home page and the contact page. And we'll save that menu and we'll head back to the Manage Locations tab. And so we want to swap the primary menu, which is default to the main menu, to our new portfolio menu when we are on the portfolio page. So let's click to add a conditional menu. First thing we do is choose what menu we want, and there's our new portfolio. And then we want to tell the conditional menus plugin the condition under which we should uh, we should show this menu in the primary menu location. So click add condition and you will see that you have got a ton of options. There's lots of different tabs for lots of different scenarios you might have to change your menus. Uh, on the generals tab you've got things like show this on the home page, it's for a single post, it's for an author, it's uh, author pages, it's kind of higher level stuff. Uh, and then you've got pages, which is the specific pages that you've got set up for your site. And this is what we're going to be working with today. So specific pages can have specific menus. Uh, but then you've got, you can get really granular. You've got things like, you know, ca categories, you know, so this is the blog category. So for particular blog categories, when you, what, when you view the category, you can have a specific menu for them. Uh, post type. So a specific post type would have a specific menu assigned to it crazy crazy flexibility taxonomies even user roles and so i mean yeah i mean you can just you can see how crazy crazy flexible this is but we're, we want to uh, assign a specific menu to the portfolio page so we're going to click portfolio for the menu that we've got selected in our drop down which is the portfolio menu we're going to save the changes go and have a look at our front end now so there's our current portfolio if we go back to the home page and then go back to the portfolio page. Boom, we have a completely different menu. Absolutely superb. And, it, and it's as simple as that. I mean, you, you've got ultimate flexibility. There's something else that is super cool about this as well, is that some pages, you might not want a menu at all. So for example, we're going to add a, another conditional menu here, and it has the option to disable the menu completely which is super useful if you've got, say, a landing page or a sales page or something that you just don't want to have a menu on. So we're going to put that condition and we're going to say, we'll just have it on the about page. So we'll save that, 
save the changes to the manage locations and let's go back to our front end and have a look at the about page which we can't get to from here so let's go about boom no menu fantastic and of course it works for any of your menus if we have a look at the back end again you see we've got the social menu so let's add a condition to sh to hide that on our about page as well so about save that save that and then refresh our about page and the social menu's gone as well super brilliant highly highly recommended it's my number one go-to for managing menus in wordpress so there you go conditional menus with a plug-in pretty straightforward stuff uh, do you have any ways that you manage your menus in wordpress any conditional menu plugins you want to share with the channel please be sure and get your comments in the below and of course if you like what you see please do go ahead and subscribe but until next time i'll see you later